<laughs> well, speaking of mad shit, there's this crazy like conspiracy theory pyramid thing that's making the rounds. Well, um, this extremely cursed pyramid, and there's quite a few, quite a lot of cursed pyramids, but this one is quite terrible. It's basically a um, chart, if you will, uh, grading conspiracy theories based on which ones are realistic and have probably like have happened versus ones that will potentially get you called an anti-Semite, um, a- anti-science. Um, and it's fairly dumb. Like it- it's it's extremely stupid. I mean, I have sat and yelled at the screen looking at this a couple of times since I have seen it because. It's just graded entirely wrong. Um, it is. So we want to start at the most, the least realistic and go down, or we want to start yeah. at the most realistic I f- and go I, up. I feel. I feel like we got to sort it top to bottom because All right. some of these are. I don't know if they're the wrong way around. I haven't really looked down at the bottom, but I feel like there's a lot of the ones in the top <laughs> that. Um, at least definitely aren't anti-Semitic at the very minimum. Some of them are real. But, and some yeah, of them are some of them are one hundred percent real as well. So um, that's let's start there, shall we? <laughs> so the top section is supposedly the most detached from reality. It's regarded in this chart as the anti-Semitic point of no return, and it says that basically, if you believe in anything in here, you believe that the world is room b- ruled by supreme shadow elites. Uh, which, once you believe uh, one, you usually believe most of these and should get help. Which telling people to get help is usually the thing that gets them to get help. Um, Always. <laughs> but okay, so it, the implication here, though, is that you, if you believe in an elite you are anti-Semitic, which is, I mean, that's fucking insane. There is a ruling class, period. Yeah. It's, it has nothing to do with Jewishness at, in any way, shape, or form. 100%. And um, some of the ones referenced in this top tier are to do with exactly that. And I'm not saying this just as someone that's read Illuminatus five or six times, but <laughs> the Illuminati is 100% a thing. And like the New World Order is basically like what they reference all the time in like the meetings. The New World Order is neoliberalism. Yeah. Like that's what it is. Yeah, it's um, it was the perpetuation of capitalism and the current like you know this sort of like states um, and nations um, silly chess game. Absolutely, playing. like it, it's couched in the goofy version of the language, but it's not like wrong the new world order is neoliberalism it's it's the elite taking power via markets it's i mean i explain it in a way that is a lot less insane sounding but (laughs) that doesn't mean it's not real and the deep state are in uh, basically that's just sort of the right wing term the deep state is basically um extra governmental apparatus working beyond the shadows of things like the military industrial complex and intelligence agency. Well, the CIA is sort of a detached organization that works under its own jurisdiction. It's, it's yeah. not like bound by anybody like they can appoint people to it, but it's not yeah. bound to the president or anything or bound to the White House or the Congress. It can do what it wants. And it, that's the deep state. Yeah. I'm sorry. And there's also the thing that kind of weirds me out is obviously like on the top tier, there are a bunch of conspiracy theories that are not um, they lump in things like Holocaust denial with flat earth theory um which is just Mm -hmm. kind of like not something that should be in the same category and belief in things like the deep state and the new world order you know alongside you know things like holocaust denial aren't necessarily it it muddies the waters because a lot of the people who believe in these ideas or and a lot of the people who entertain these ideas aren't automatically in favor of holocaust denial or believe in reptilian overlords. A lot of people believed Obama's birth certificate was fake. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, there was a lot of information that was put out that looked real. Even though it wasn't real, it looked real, and people believed and that. And for a lot of people, it's sort of their gateway into anti-authoritarian thinking. Yeah. Like, Alex Jones, when, like, before he went, like, crazy right wing, but back when he was just sort of a libertarian crazy, you know, conspiracy theorist, he was sort of my gateway as a really young kid into anti-establishment ideas or the idea that we were being screwed by the powerful and we are being screwed by the powerful. We absolutely what, are. Yeah. And that's what these sort of things try to obfuscate. They, It's almost like saying any criticism 
of power that isn't sort of um, sanctioned by the liberal left is is basically adjacent to fascism. Um, yeah. And in some cases, fascists do use criticisms of power as a tool to, you know, meet meet their agenda. But that's not always the case. And I mean, saying that Elvis lives is more uh, realistic than the Bilderbergs and New World Order Illuminati shit existing and just, uh, you know, an elite class a ruling class existing that is some fucking it's like, fucked up it's it's literally genuinely fucked right? up also, like yeah. that's mental and they've put they've put um greta thunberg is a time traveler that is more realistic <laughs> finland doesn't exist finland doesn't exist that's more realistic than the deep state okay sure yeah, yeah. thanks sure. uh-huh sure. and so i mean they um the, so the the only ones that they've put on the green one, which is still under a speculation line. So I don't know if above that is speculation line or if below that is... The green one are things that actually happened, according Grand- to that okay. little circle there. Oh, th- okay, yeah, yeah. Th- sorry, things actually happened. But, like, the only reason they're willing to say those things actually happened is because the were... government has acknowledged yeah. them. The government has so acknowledged like, them, yeah. th- that's that's the only thing that you, that you need the government to acknowledge it in order to say that it's real. Like, that's not how fucking power works. Like, all no. the shit that is fucking going on, they're not going to an- acknowledge it until it doesn't matter anymore. It's fucking stupid as well because they've acknowledged UFOs and like there's so much and they've yes, acknowledged Area 51. We have 51. questions. Sorry, no, we don't have questions. We have evidence. Yeah. At this point, so much for all of that stuff. Maybe that makes me sound like a fucking lunatic to certain people, I guess. But sorry, we do. We have evidence at this point. Even then, though, the COINTELPRO, the uh, even things like MK Ultra. Uh, a few years ago, what well, COINTELPRO, uh, you know, a few decades ago was seen as an outlandish conspiracy theory until... Yeah, that was way... That was probably yellow. Yeah. That was probably yellow level. Yeah, until it became some... Because it, it became less of a threat to power for that information to be proliferated because it was sort of neutered um, once it was made public. And something like MK Ultra would have been in red yeah. because mostly right wing conspiracy people that until a few years ago when it was actually fucking confirmed, because anytime you said MK Ultra, people looked at you like you were fucking crazy yes. and you listened to Alex absolutely Jones. a few years ago was when that shit came out. Yep. And when it was like, oh, they actually did. The CIA was doing all of this fucking crazy shit, experimenting mm-hmm. with human psychology and fucking mm-hmm. all this crazy shit. And like, the same thing with the whole uh, fucking Epstein thing. If you said that like world leaders were flying on planes with Jeffrey Epstein and and going to a fucking island where they were fucking fiddling kids, people would have put you in the red too. And yeah, a lot of the things that are in this. Yeah. Alex Jones said all of that in like fucking 2004. Yes, like, absolutely. So the it's... Pizzagate stuff is all rooted in that. It's like they literally have Pizzagate in the red now yeah. when yeah. that is like an exact exaggeration of the uh, of the criticism and the skepticism that is based around the Epstein shit like that's it's literally like it's it's neighbors it's fucking cousins like whatever you want to fucking call it Pizzagate might be the absurd version of it but it's literally people skeptical of the elites for doing the Epstein shit which is fucking real yeah yeah and I mean when you see a bunch of like you know satanic related like or just like esoteric fucking weird like spiritual fucking like mammon statues and like all this weird shit around people like Jeffrey Epstein and the places that they were doing all these fucking horrible like deviant fucking activities uh, around it's just like speculation from an outsider's point of view around why they would fucking ritualistically do this sort of shit to children yeah like yeah they're, they're, like it's not a, it's not like it's not rooted in anti-semitism or anything like that it's like We've seen that this is happening and we were, and like this is also not something that's just new to like right now. No. Elites have like had a fucking thing of like back to Roman and Greek times. Yeah, look fucking, back at like, any previous society where there's some form of evidence like they were yeah. fucking diddling kids. Yeah. Literally. And so what is the reason and the purpose behind that and the actual tradition of that like what is what is the secret that's being kept from us plebeians that are like, you know, if <laughs> not well obviously it's that the they're jewish the, it's that they're yeah, jewish it's obviously, obviously. It's obviously that, that is that's the case and that they need to that's what it is stay. 
you know. But that's the thing. Of course, yeah. there have been conspiracy theories that have been weaponized against certain communities. I mean, obviously, the, the far right, the far right has kind of claimed that territory as a way of, as a weapon of, they weaponize it against political enemies. They use it to obfuscate material concerns too. So they use it to distract people uh, with sort of culture war bullshit, so that they don't actually focus on their material, mm-hmm. uh, you know, needs and their common solidarity with others that may be around them. So yeah, nobody's denying here that the far right definitely use conspiracy as a tool of obfuscation. No, but it's not wise to then look at the people who fall prey to this stuff and be like, "You fucking idiots! You're dangerous and you're beyond hope." Once you cross the the red, once you crossed into the red zone, chief, you're beyond hope. Like that's not. <laughs> well, that's I tweeted not- <laughs> about it, and people were like, "These people are too far gone." That's the response. I they're too far gone. They're not worth talking to. I tweeted that like it's better to try to understand weird conspiracy people that you and use that understanding to try to win them over to a program of material gains for the working class rather than scold them with charts. Um, and then I, I said, <laughs> no individual sweet. human being is a lost cause. And people were like, no, 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 they're too far gone. And I had people, I had somebody say to me, my dad is too far gone. You, he is a lost cause. You cannot reach him. I said, I responded to them with, would you kill him? <laughs> I said, would you murder your dad? And they didn't yeah. respond to me because you know what? They're, they are not a lost cause because they wouldn't kill their dad because they're the fucking dad. They have some compassion for that person, even though they're quote unquote too far gone. And you know what? If you aren't willing to kill them, if you aren't willing to like actually end their life, then they're not too far gone. You don't get to call yourself a fucking pacifist. Oh, I would just, I wouldn't kill someone. No, that's bullshit. If you think they're too far gone, you think they shouldn't be on this planet. That is the implication you're making. If you're not going to murder them, then they're not too far gone because you have to fucking talk to them. You don't have a choice. They're going to be around. All dads matter. Let's be real. (laughs) Um, Yes. Hashtag all dads matter. Just in this blue section, back to this pyramid, there's definitely some shit that needs shuffling around. Uh Let's just be absolutely real as well. Like, I don't know why the hell we've got still questions about the JFK assassination. Did nobody watch The Irishman? Like, we all (laughs) fully understand now how that went down. (laughs) There's not been really a conspiracy theory that really How is Free Britney not, like, in the green, too? Epstein didn't kill himself in the blue. Because we have questions still. Oh, my God. Fuck right off, mate. Fuck right off. Also, the Denver International Airport um, like that should definitely be pushed up to the pink because that's not just we have questions. There's like some extremely fucking bait shit going yeah, on with yeah, that I fucking agree. place. There's some fucking crazy like, shit going on. And I don't mean to sound yeah. like like one of those crazy motherfuckers on TikTok, but like for real, that place has got shiftiness all over it. And if there's like, like I'd love for someone mm-hmm. to like just come and lay the fucking truth out about that one because it's just ridiculous. It's so weird. Like mm-hmm. the fucking Roswell one, we have questions. Like that's not even the least of it. Like it's, sh- I guess, Princess blue- Diana, Princess Diana, I, I, she should be down there in the fucking green. We kind of all know that. We that's know, one. That's we just know another that one the of royal those family. Ones that's not yeah. confirmed. Yes, yeah. we absolutely know. Like, how, how, how do we not think that she was getting close? How do we not think that she was getting close to the Prince Andrew shit? Which is, by the way, still in the fucking red. By the way, uh, despite the fact yes. that it's se- seriously completely attached to the Epstein shit. Yes. Like, that's the thing is it basically what they're saying is if you try to sort of you sh- it's like the whole vibe of this whole chart is don't use your own logic or logical faculties to make your mind up about anything because you're so flawed and so stupid and so incapable of deducing truth from fiction that if you even adopt one idea that may be considered fringe you're going to end up believing in anti-semitic conspiracy theories which is so insulting to the faculties of most people and it's also it applies like this um moralistic sort of intention behind a lot of people's belief in conspiracy theories like even the ones that are like definitely like have got some sort of like anti-semitic stuff going on with it even like the reptilian one for example that's like the flat earth version of illuminati is basically how i see that like that's someone that is like yeah something's fucking going on 
there's like a a gruel a, a group of something go, like ruling and fucking telling human beings what to do and how to fucking operate this mad system that we're is just abusing all of us but they've like <laughs> they're crazy enough to just push it to this reptilian place a lot of the time i really don't feel like that's yeah. because they're deeply anti-semitic and they hate the jews yeah. do you know what i mean well they just think that it's inhuman what people are that's doing more it. it's more it's more you've got I, I maybe i'm too kind i always say this maybe i give people too much of the benefit of the doubt but it's more i see it like exactly that like what is happening to us, what we're doing to each other is inhuman. Yeah. And we couldn't possibly do this to each other or like have this system ruled by other people that are just like me and you who would be making these kinds of decisions. They must be this other kind of like alien thing. Um, and so I don't think that that inherently, that feeling inherently is uh, is anti-Semitic. I feel like that's no. from a good place of like... I can't believe that humans are this bad. I mean, it can be, but like, it's not inherently. Some, a lot of this as well seems like a snobby kind of, oh, you believe in that? Like in the same way that people would be like, oh, Angie, you like own crystals, you fucking weirdo. Basically, this whole charts is saying, don't use any of your logical faculties to figure anything out because you're so flawed and so stupid that if you even adopt or analyze any idea that isn't sanctioned, you will automatically become an anti-Semitic conspiracy theorist. And that's so insulting to well, yeah. people's faculties. And yeah, the thing is, is this materialist analysis, conspiracy theory, materialist analysis? No, it's not. You're not looking at, you know, evidence and stuff, but you are following hunches that like a lot of the time do lead back to a real problem in the world. That's the problem is, is that we can't get. Uh, the the paper that allows us to put Co Cointel Pro into the fucking green. We can't get the paper on that as far as, you know, the deep state. But the problem is, like, yeah, it's so obvious that there is an elite. There is an owning class. There is a ruling class. And and if we, we lump that impulse in with anti-Semitism, we end up at this point where we're just talking about, like, all right, well, I guess nobody wields power, because if we say somebody wields power, that makes us a bigot. Like, what the fuck? 